Okay, and number seven, we are doing composition functions. So seven and eight here. You've got an f of x function of negative 2x plus 7 and a g of x function of x plus 15. So for f of x plus g of x, you're just adding the two functions. So you're just doing negative 2x plus 7 plus x plus 15. No need for parentheses because plus signs don't change anything. You are just combining like terms here. So you have a negative 2x plus 1x, so negative 2 plus 1 will give you a negative 1x, so negative x, and then 7 plus 15 will give you a positive 22. And that's all you need to do for number 7. For number 8, you have g of f of 10. So for this one, when you do have a value inside of here, my suggestion here is to start on the inside. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find f of 10. So f of 10 is going to be our f of x function, negative 2x plus 7, and we're going to put a 10 in for this value here. So you have negative 2, and then we're going to put 10 in here, times 10, plus 7. Okay, that's going to give us our f of 10. Okay, so then what we're going to do here, negative 2 times 10 is negative 20, plus 7. That will give us a negative 13. So here you have f of 10 equals negative 13. So I'm doing g of f of 10. So if I do g of f of 10, well actually let me make that a different color so it looks more concise for you. So if you have, let's go back, g of f of 10, well that's the same thing as saying g of negative 13 because f of 10 is negative 13. So here you're going g of negative 13. And then that's going to be x plus 15. Okay, so negative 13 will go in here for this x. So you have g of negative 13. And that's going to be negative 13 plus 15, which will give you a positive 2. So g of negative 13 is positive 2, which is g of f of 10. So positive 2 here. 